you had the power to go back and change someone's fate? To save them from tragedy? To save yourself? Would you? I'm going to warn you now. This story does not end the way you want it to. But I think... I think that's what makes it special. Because not all stories have a happy ending. But they can still be beautiful. Ours was. It started with a girl. A girl with bright blue hair and fire in her soul. Her name was Chloe Price. Chloe and I were best friends. We grew up together. She was outgoing, brave, funny, and clever. I was, well, me. Max Caulfield, averagest girl in average town. But Chloe? She made me feel like I was someone. She had this permanent mischievous glint in her eyes, just like her dad. Then, because the world can be a shitty, fucked up place, Chloe's dad was killed in a car accident. And later, in that same year, I moved to Seattle with my family. And I didn't talk to Chloe for five years. Let me tell you, a lot can change in that amount of time. Chloe certainly did. Fuck that. The Vortex Club. They were a collection of Blackwell elites that threw massive parties practically every other week. The faculty let them do pretty much whatever they wanted because their parents collectively donated half the school's budget. Victoria Chase was one of the two people who ran the Vortex Club. She was your typical high school A-lister. And then there was Nathan Prescott, the other head of the Vortex Club. He's the spawn of Sean Prescott, the wealthiest, most powerful man in Arcadia Bay. Naturally, Nathan took after him and walked around the school like he owned the place. Which, I guess, in a sort of roundabout way, he did, since his father owned the dorms. Hey, asshole! Chloe Price. Aren't you supposed to be dead in a ditch somewhere with Rachel Amber? Victoria Chase. Shouldn't you be banging your teacher in a broom closet somewhere? Wouldn't want that GPA to drop. Fuck you very much for that. I could report you, you know. You were expelled. You're not even supposed to be here. Oh, fuck off. We need to talk. Now. I'm talking to you. Really? You want that? In front of all of your fake-ass friends? Fine. Maybe in the girls' bathroom? By the library? Five minutes. Don't be late. Dude, just gonna let her talk to you like that? Shut the fuck up. Sorry. It was Monday, October 7th. I'd been at Blackwell Academy just over a month, and I was already miserable. I should have been excited to finally be studying what I loved. Blackwell has one of the best photography programs in the country. 
But it also has drama and bullying and the Vortex Club. But then, all of a sudden, none of that mattered. When the vision came, it felt like running into a brick wall. I saw a tornado. One of those giant ones, like you see on the news or in disaster movies. And then it was gone. I was planning to go into the bathroom, splash some water on my face, lock myself in a stall, and cry my eyes out in peace. What else is there to do when you feel like you're losing your mind? Daydream. Great artists. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Check to the perimeter, as my step ass would say. Let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo hoo. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to the kids around here. 
I bet if I went to a respectable family, they'd help me out. I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this, bitch. I can tell them that Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Hey, where'd you get that? What are you doing? Just put that thing down. Ever try to tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me. Okay, you are going to get in way more trouble for this than drugs. Oh, nobody even missed your punk ass, would they? Get the fuck away from me, you psycho! No! That was the first time I traveled through time. I will never know how it happened, but I immediately knew why. I had to save her life. Max, you can do this. Sure enough, everything played out exactly the way it had before. Don't you ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. I couldn't believe it. I, Max Caulfield, had just altered the course of history. Yes. <laughs> I needed to tell someone. Someone I could trust. But who do you go to with something like this? Perfect. David Matson head of security at Blackwell Academy. He was the physical embodiment of every terrible adult in a cheesy 80s teen movie. At the time, he was harassing Kate Marsh, who was literally the nicest person I'd ever known. Do you think I'm blind, Kate? You think I don't see what's going on here? No, sir, I just... No is right. I see everything that happens at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, just leave me alone. You can't fool me. I know everything that happens at this school, so you better figure out what side you're on. Please, just leave me alone.
Kate had been going through a lot the past few days. Okay, class, and today we are going over climate education. And if we could keep our paper airplanes to ourselves, that would be great. And remember, everyone, to talk to me after class about signing the petition for our equal family campus. We are trying to get the principal to put solar panels on top of our school. The four-page paper is on how recycling works and <laughs> why we... Hey, three points. Hey, do I get extra credit? <laughs> Speaking of recycling, this will be going in the recycling bin. Hey, hey save the plan. Yeah. Oh, way, way to go, go. way to go. <laughs> A video had come out of her at a Vortex Club party, making out with a bunch of guys. It was weird because she was so not that type of person. She ran an abstinence club at the school and was very religious, though not in the in-your-face kind of way. She was a good person, one of my only friends, still. Being a good person sometimes isn't enough. I'm really glad you guys are getting this. <laughs> oh, you know, yeah, you are. Saving the planet. Probably my favorite teacher, huh? Yeah. I'm... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start the recycling. Where are you going, baby? Nothing. No. We're just kind of really excited kind of about climate change. Go back to yeah. whatever yeah. that was you were talking yeah. about. Yeah. We want to learn. That's weird. <laughs> yeah. This had been going on for over a week, with no signs of slowing down. Kate. Look, I hope you enjoyed the show. But Kate, I wanted to get proof that whatever. Thanks for nothing, Max. Oh, Max, hi. Hi, Miss Grant. Would you mind signing my petition? We are trying to make the campus more eco-friendly, and in efforts to do that, we want to put solar panels on top of the school. Absolutely. Sign this right there. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Of course. Hey, Daniel. Hey, Max. Can you please stop that? I'm trying to read here. It's important. How you doing? It's been a while. Here's your flash. And I'm not doing green. Warren Graham was one of my only friends at Blackwell besides Kate. He and I had a mutual love for obscure old movies and video games. He was a good listener, too. One of those people you could talk to about anything. Hey, new wheels. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say new, but... Maybe vintage. It's cool. Very old school. Thanks. So, what's up? You seem down. It's been one strange fucking day. I literally think I'm going insane. Wait. 
you thought you were sane before? Shut up. <laughs> but seriously, today has been weird. Like, David Lynch level weird. Are we talking Eraserhead or Mulholland Drive? Mulholland for sure. <laughs> okay. So tell me about it. Well, for reals, Warren, this is between you and me, nobody else. Don't insult me, Max. Go on. Well, I had this incredibly bizarre experience, like life-changing. I was just walking down the hallway when all of a sudden... Max Caulfield, right? You're one of those photography freaks, aren't you? By photography freaks, you mean I study photography, then yes, why? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. What are you talking about? I think I didn't see you back there. Peeking out from behind the stall. I know you're new here, but don't play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know. The Prescott's on this shit all. You shouldn't worry about me. You should worry about yourself. What the fuck's that supposed to mean, huh? Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. <laughs> Are you telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey! <laughs> Listen to me, bitch. You keep your fucking mouth shut about what happened today. If you go to the cops, I'll find out. My father knows everyone on the payroll. He could have you killed. back together. It was a little awkward. Oh, thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. At least pretend like you're happy to see me. I'm seriously glad to see you. And I was glad to see her. I hadn't even recognized her in the bathroom. Fear and the changes of the past five years had blinded me. But now, seeing Chloe after all that time, so much had changed, and yet nothing had. That look in her eyes, the energy that seemed to radiate off of her, like she was some kind of star. Anyway, we got to her house about 10 minutes later. Why don't you put on some music while I mitigate? Can do. Where do you keep your CDs? Does it look like I have some kind of organizational system going? Just find something you like. Hey! Don't touch that. Sorry. 
Sorry. You knew Rachel Amber. Yeah. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved out, things got bad. Rachel saved my life. I had no idea. Well, you didn't exactly put in much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. I wanted to. No, oh, sure. Was... Your phone and laptop were frozen in time. You're right? merciless. I never forgot about you, Chloe. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. Still, I'm glad you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were going to kick the world's ass. She looks like a model. Yeah, you would have laughed at how different we were. That was her plan. Our plan. Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. So when did she disappear exactly? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia Bay without telling anyone, without me. Well, maybe she just wanted to start a completely new life. Unlike you, she would have told me. She said she'd met someone who changed her life. After that, I saw her less and less, and then poof. And you haven't heard anything from her since? No. Like everyone else in my life. My dad, you, and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now, please? Yeah. Are you okay? Sure, I'm awesome. I just want to be left alone for a minute. make a call. I'll be right back. See you in 2018. I'm not going anywhere, Chloe. I promise. Sure. Just do what you gotta do. you today, Max. I needed help, and you just watched. Kate, I tried to tell you. I, I wanted to get proof that David confronted you, and by the time that was over, it was done. Oh, well, whatever. It's done. Yeah, I'm fine. I'll be fine. I just need to know how to take that video down. Or get rid of it. I just need help. How about I come by your dorm tomorrow morning and we can talk? Would that be okay? Yeah, that would be great. Thanks, Max. It's good to know that someone cares. Bye, Max.
Who was that? Sounded serious. You were listening? The walls in this house are hella thin, Max. Trust me. <sighs> it was a friend from school. Kate Marsh. Okay. She's going through some serious shit and she needs help. What kind of serious shit? Somebody put up a video of her online. Ugh. Fucking high school kids. I swear to God. Well, I hope she's okay. I hope so too. Are those your new photos? Oh, yeah, I took them this morning. Can I look? This asshole's everywhere. You know him? Yeah. He's my stepdad. Oh, God. I'm sorry. Yeah, you and me both. Hang on. I know where this is. This is the bathroom at Blackwell. Um... You were there this morning? Yeah, I was hiding in the stall. You distracted Nathan. That's why he raged after you this morning. It all makes sense. You saved my life. Damn, you are a ninja! I am not a ninja. A ninja would have cut Nathan's head off. Oh, stop that. You are so badass. So you probably heard everything. I mean, yeah, a little bit. Oh, there's no way you didn't hear every single vowel. Okay, I... I heard something about money and drugs. Yeah, and I'll explain that to you later, but not right now. I'm not here because David can hear everything. I know it was your birthday last month. This is my real father's camera. And I want you to have it. Chloe. It's so cool that you remembered my birthday, but I can't take this. Yeah, you can. He'd be pissed if I weren't taking photos with it, and now I know it's gonna go to something really cool. Thank you. This is awesome. Yeah. And I will snag this as a symbol of our reunion. Cool? Of course it's cool. Thank you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Now that that mushy shit's out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Oh my god, you're crazy. <laughs> yup, I'm insane in the brain. Dance with me! Or, better yet, take a picture of me with your new camera. Oh, don't step on my Okay, pictures. all right, I got it. Should I pose or just... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Come on, take my picture! have I told you to stop blasting that punk shit? The music's not even on! Asshole. I'm coming up. We need to talk. Ugh, no fucking way. Let me apologize for him in advance. He's gonna be furious that you're here. What's going on in here? Why is she here? It's none of your business. I don't like strangers here. She's not a stranger. This is my friend. Great. Another one of your friends. One of my guns is missing. Did you take it? I didn't take your stupid gun. 
You do know I believe in gun control. Wait. Is that weed? Are you doing that shit in my house again? It's not my pot. Max brought it over. Is this true? Um, yeah. It's my pot. So you brought drugs into my house. How about I call the police? That'll screw up your spotless Blackwell record. I am so fucking tired of you losers dragging Chloe down. I wasn't trying to- Stop! Get the hell away from her. I have proof that you hassled Kate Marsh today. What? What, what are you talking about? Yeah, I have surveillance proof. Now please, leave us alone. Okay, Chloe. You know everything. And Max, if I find you here again, it'll be the last time. Thanks for taking the heat. We totally smacked his punk ass down! He's no match for you and me now. That was an epic win. Anyway, let's get out of here. I know of one cool place we can hang in this, Nicole. I was never angry about Chloe blaming me for having the weed. I could tell how freaked out she was around David. If I could make her life a little easier, that was fine with me. Come on, Slowpoke! Hold on! Have a seat, Pete. You're in a good mood. Seeing my stepdaughter get owned makes me happy. David is indeed a step douche. Has he always been that way? Ever since my desperate mother brought him into our home, I never trusted David. He has secret files on all the kids at Blackwell, you know. Even Kate, your friend. Rambo still thinks he's gathering enemy intelligence. I bet he puts spy cameras all over the house. He's got a major surveillance fetish. If you don't mind my asking, What's going on between you and Nathan Prescott? He's some elite asshole who sells shit cut with laxatives. And he dosed me with something in his room once. What? I met him at the shitty dive bar. He was too wasted and too rich for the place. He kept flashing cash and I... It's okay, go on. I was an idiot. I figured he was so wasted it would be an easy score. You needed money that bad? Yeah. Way bad. I figured also I could keep some of it for when me and Rachel leave if she ever showed up. How much do you owe? Three grand. Plus interest. And before I could even get a chunk of that, Nathan dosed me with something. Put it in my drink, I think. I remember I passed out on the floor and when I woke up, that perv was smiling, crawling towards me with a camera. I tried to kick him in the balls, but I broke a lamp and Nathan freaked, so I took my chances, bum rushed him, and got the hell out. Anyway, I figured I could still squeeze something out of him, so I met him today in the bathroom, trying to get him to pay me to keep me quiet. Yeah, and he brought a gun. He's dangerous, Chloe, and I won't always be there to save you. But you did save me, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years is, feels like... Destiny. Hey. If it is destiny, then I hope we find Rachel. I miss her, Max. Max! Oh my god, Max! Max! <laughs> Chloe! Chloe, where are you? Max, 
Max! Max, can you hear me? <gasps> oh, fuck! Oh, fuck, it's real! It's actually real! Dude, calm down. You totally blacked out. I didn't black out! I had another vision. The town is gonna get wiped out by a tornado. I could actually feel the electricity in the air. Okay, deep breaths. Chloe, I have to tell you something. Something crazy. Talk to me, Max. I had this same vision earlier today in the hallway at school. When I came out of it, I realized I could reverse time. I'm not crazy. But you're high, right? Listen to me. How do you think I saved you in the bathroom back there? By reversing time, Max, come on. I was able to go back and distract Nathan. I saw you get shot, Chloe. I saw you actually die. Max, I know you have an active imagination, but this isn't a video game or an anime. That stuff doesn't happen in real life. I don't know what I have, but I have it, and I'm scared shitless. You need to get high. It's been a hella insane fucking day. What the hell? Is that snow? It's 80 degrees outside. The pressure's dropping. It means a storm's coming. A video Chloe! Game. In 10 seconds, it's gonna start snowing. What? How could it snow? It's like 80 degrees outside. What the heck? Max, how did you know that? Okay. I believe you. Start from the beginning. Tell me everything. I was standing in the hallway at school. And I was just walking down the hall and I turned the corner. Once we'd established that I really could rewind time, we decided to focus on trying to find Rachel Amber. Chloe believed that all of this had to be destiny. That the two of us were supposed to use my power to help us find this missing girl. And if we did, all the bad shit wouldn't happen. I agreed. But first, I had to visit Kate like I'd promised I would. Kate? You in there? Yeah, I'm here. Come in, Max. Hey, Max. How... how are you? How do you think? So, why was David Madsen harassing you yesterday? Well, he's a total paranoid ass. He thinks I'm part of the Vortex Club. Yeah, right. What about the video? I can't even watch it, Max. I won't either. Thank you. Do you know how humiliating this is for me? I... I get letters from my family asking me why I would do something like this. My family, my mom, they don't understand that this wasn't my fault. She called me last week. She said she'd pray for me. Told me... Told me to find somewhere else to live after graduation. Now I have no one. So... What happened at the party? You know, I normally don't do things like this. But I bought a new dress. 
I did my hair. I thought it'd be fun. They said I started making out with a bunch of random guys, but I don't remember any of it. Had you drank anything? I swear to God, I only had one sip of red wine, and then I drank water. Then I started feeling dizzy and sick. And then I remember Nathan Prescott saying he'd take me to the hospital. Nathan Prescott? I thought he was being nice for a change when he offered to help. He's the opposite of nice. I know, but I was dizzy and confused and he was the only one who offered. We left the club and drove for a long time. When I woke up, I was in a room. I thought it was a hospital because the lights were so bright. But I realized it was Nathan's room. He rigged up floodlights. I could see his computer. It had pictures of girls, Max. Girls who look wrong. But I couldn't tell who any of them were. Then he whispered to me in a soft voice. He told me not to be scared. And then I felt a sharp sting in my neck and and that's all I remember. I woke up outside my dorm room the next day. I didn't have any marks or bruises, but I felt gross. And I haven't told anyone yet. I've been too afraid of what would happen. Jesus, Kate. I'm so sorry. Max, I... I think Nathan Prescott hurt me. I think I need to go to the police. Maybe you can come with. You can vouch for me. No, Kate, not yet. Not until we have more proof. What? But I know I was drugged. And I believe you, I do. But Nathan's family is powerful. He threatened me yesterday because I because I saw him get into a fight. He threatened my life, Kate, and that was nothing compared to this. What Nathan did to you was horrible, and I don't want him to get away with it just because he's Sean Prescott's son. We need rock solid proof, and I'm going to get it for you. So my word isn't enough? Is that it? I'm just supposed to sit here and rot while you play Nancy Drew because no one's going to believe me that Nathan Prescott assaulted me. Kate, I'm going to get proof. When? When is that happening, Max? My life is already over. They've taken everything from me. No one comes to my club meetings anymore. No one talks to me anymore. No one looks at me anymore. At best, I'm ignored. At worst, I'm ridiculed because that monster chose to attack me. But it'll be okay, because you're here to save me. You're on the case. Max Caulfield, everyday hero. Kate, you're my friend. I want to help you. I love you. I, I need you to go, Max. I need to be alone. I'm sorry for yelling at you. Please don't hate me. I could never hate you. Goodbye, Max.
Mad Max, what's happening? Chloe? Whoa, Max, you okay? Are you crying? It's about that girl I was telling you about earlier. Kate Marsh? <laughs> She's not doing well, Chloe. She said that Nathan Prescott drugged her and... <laughs> and... <sighs> that fucking bastard's gonna pay, I swear to God. I need to get out of here. Can you come get me? Okay, yeah, I'll come pick you up. I know a place we can go. I'll be there in five. Okay. Max? Yeah? Everything's gonna be okay. Okay. Thank you, Chloe. Welcome to American Rust. It's my home away from hell. You know, when you said you had a place that you thought would cheer me up, this is not what I was expecting. What do you mean? This place is my haven. It was Rachel's too. Oh, come on, it's fine. Nothing's gonna get us out here. I brought protection. Oh my god, you did steal David's gun. Of course I stole it. Who do you think I am, Max? Besides, a girl's gotta protect herself. You coming or what? Yes, I'm coming. Like a lamp in the light of day. I knew I could count on you, Supermax. Please, I am anything but super. Did you forget you can rewind time? I think that's the definition of super. No, I didn't forget. It's just, I don't feel very super. <laughs> Yeah, I get that. Come on. So I had an idea. Oh. I thought of a way we could get some more info on Rachel and everybody else. Well, how? Behold, the master key to Blackwell. Holy shit, Chloe, you stole that too? No, I made a mold of it and then forged it myself at the workbench in the garage. Yes, I stole it. It's fine, it's the spare. David probably won't even notice it's missing. Oh yeah, I'm sure the guy with the massive surveillance fetish. Your words, by the way, won't notice that you stole something super important from him. Yeah, whatever. What's he gonna do, have me arrested? Like he'd want to tell his cop friends his stepdaughter spent another night in jail. With this, I say we pay Blackwell Academy a little visit tonight, after hours. Are you in? <laughs> wowzers. No, oh, wait, wait, wait. Did you just say wowzers? Um, yeah. Max, you are adorable. Okay, and this coming from the only person on the face of the planet who still says the word Hella? Uh-uh, uh-uh. Hella and Wowzers are on two completely different planets. Shut up. Only kidding. Wowzers, Max, take a joke. I will hit you. Oh, I'm terrified now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Yuck it up. <laughs> hey, I brought you out here for a reason. Let's go. <gasps> okay. <laughs> it's a little bit of a hike, but don't worry, I've done it a million times. I'm up for it. This is what I wanted to show you. Pretty scenic, huh? Yeah, Chloe, it, it reminds me of when we were kids. It's perfect. 
Yeah, it is, isn't it? Up for an adventure? Let's see where these take us. Careful, Chloe. I can't carry you all the way back if you break your leg. Mm, but you could rewind time to before I broke it. Supermax. Chloe? Yeah? You know my powers might not last, right? That's okay, Max. We will. Forever. We should be getting back soon. Why, are you afraid Bigfoot's gonna come out of the woods and grab you? No, I'm more afraid that it's gonna get too dark and we're gonna trip and break our necks. Besides, don't we have a school to break into? Mm, I like the way you think. Huh. Let's head back. Oh, shit. Well, if it isn't Thelma and Louise, or should I say Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. According to Chloe, Frank Bowers was Arcadia Bay's resident drug dealer and loan shark. He wasn't a bad guy, per se, but he had a reputation. He spent most of his free time with his dog, Pompidou, who he loved more than he loved most people. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. Did you, did you fucking follow us here? Jesus, Frank, what the fuck is wrong with you? I wouldn't say I followed you here. I just happened to be in the area doing some business with one of your esteemed Blackwell classmates. And then I heard your annoying ass voice, so I figured I'd drop by. Aw, oh, isn't that cute? Playing with guns. Just like me when I was your age. We're nothing alike, ma'am. Oh, we've got a few things in common. Like money. And the fact that you owe me a shitload of it. You'll get your money, Frank. Isn't that what they all say? When they're broke and acting tough? Hey. Where the fuck did you get that bracelet? None of your goddamn business. You're my business. That was Rachel's bracelet. Why are you wearing her bracelet? It was a gift. Calm the fuck down. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it back to me right now, asshole. You better step the fuck back. Last person that tried that shit got hurt. You don't want to get hurt, do you? Get the fuck away from me! Wind. I don't have much time to explain. When we get back, a guy named Frank is going to be waiting for us, and he has Rachel's bracelet. Rachel's bracelet? What the fuck does he... Look, he shot you, Chloe. 
you two were fighting and he grabbed your gun and so I pushed him and he fell and he shot you and you were suffering, dying in my arms. It was so awful. I couldn't. Hey, I'm right here. I'm right here. Uh, please, whatever you do, don't make him angry. I don't know how many more times I can do that. And I can't lose you again. Okay, okay I promise. I'm not going anywhere. Let's go. Well, if it isn't Thelma and Louise, or should I say Bonnie and... Oh shit, what happened to you? I tripped and I fell on a rail. I think my nose is broken, so Chloe's taking me to the doctor. Oh, sorry. It's just... I need my money, Chloe. It's been months, and I don't have time for your bullshit anymore. You'll get your money, Frank. I just need a little bit more time. You've had time. Plenty of it. You want to tell me why the fuck you're wearing Rachel's bracelet, Frank? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. I didn't steal anything. I'm not a thief. Rachel gave it to me. That's the truth. Why would she... You and her were... Oh. Yeah, sorry. Frank, you mentioned doing business with someone from Blackwell. Someone prestigious. Was it Nathan Prescott? Were you selling him tranquilizers? The kind you inject with a needle? Wait, I said what? Why the fuck would I tell you that? Confidentiality is kind of an important part of my business. There's no way in shit I'm gonna put myself in Sean Prescott's crosshairs. Nathan assaulted a girl at my school, slipped her something at a party, and then injected her with something stronger. He's hurting people, Frank. Yeah, uh, yeah, fine. I get him the drugs he needs. I know the kid's got a problem. He said they were for him, so I believed him. Kid's a fucking animal. Personally, I just hope you put him away. Just leave my name out of it, please. Sure, I won't say a word about it. As long as you promise to never harass Chloe again. <laughs> you got balls, girl. Sure, whatever. I make more in a good weekend than what she owes me anyway. And if it helps put that psycho away, Consider the debt paid. But you and I, never doing business again. Ever. Yeah, works for me. Listen, Chloe, Rachel and I were nothing. Yeah, we fooled around a little bit, but I knew it wasn't gonna go anywhere. She told me all the time about you, how you guys were gonna run away together. I know you've been putting posters up, and I really hope you find her. I hope so too. <sighs> that was scary. Um, we should probably get you back to your dorm so you can get some shut eye. And Max, thanks for taking care of Frank. That was. Pretty awesome. I'm just glad he's out of your life. Me too. So do you, do you wanna talk about? Rachel, no, she and I will talk about it when, it's fine, I'm fine. Let's go.
I slept for about three hours before Chloe woke me up. Before long, we found ourselves in the principal's office at Blackwell, digging for clues. Max, Max, I found the student files, come here. Here's Nathan's. Nathan Prescott is an exemplary student and a shining example of what Blackwell Academy has to offer. Well, this is bullshit. No kidding. Hold on, there is another file here. Buried in a bunch of other files. It's just labeled NP. Nathan Prescott? The desk of David Matson. I believe that Nathan Prescott has become dangerously obsessed with another student, namely Rachel Amber. It should be noted that Nathan seemed to have some sort of fixation with Rachel in the weeks leading up to her disappearance. It troubles me deeply to suggest that he would have anything to do with her going missing, but given his history of mental instability, there's an unsettlingly high probability that he may have somehow involved. Thank you, Max. I can read. Chloe, you don't think... I don't. I don't, Max. Because I don't want to. Let's just copy and paste all this shit and get out of here. Okay. Give me one second. Chloe? Holy shit, Max. <laughs> you gotta start warning me before you rewind. <laughs> Wait, why did you rewind? Because I found all the info we needed. Oh, great. Well, what did we find? Um, let's look at it later. Yeah, good idea. We'll look at it when we get back. That way we can really examine everything. Yeah. Besides, um, we have some place to go first. Where? It's very important. Possibly the most important thing we've ever done. If you say so. Are we? The middle of nowhere. I can see that. Why? You'll see. <laughs> so where are we going? Someplace special. Oh, special like the junkyard? More so. There. That's where we're going. Mm-hmm. We don't have much time though, so let's get a move on. No pun intended. Shut up.
is a special place. You only come out here with somebody who... Something special? Yeah. The junkyard is a great place to hang out, but this is where you come to meditate. I can see that. I wonder who they all are. Who? Who cares? <laughs> they don't matter. This place matters. It's like when you're here, everything else disappears. You could just get away from the real world for a little while. I was meant to bring Rachel here. I wish you two could have met. We will. Maybe all of this is connected. Rachel, Storm, Nathan, even Kate. Once we find Rachel, everything will be better. No, it's not like everything is terrible now. I have you. Oh, please. No, oh, Max, stop that. Stop what? Stop acting like you don't matter. You're like this force of nature now. Your powers have changed you. You're more confident. You're more you. I can see it. Have you ever considered that maybe some of those changes are because of you? Max, I'm not a role model, Max. I'm not even a good person. I've done so much petty, fucked up shit. You wouldn't even believe. Yes, I would. You're not perfect, Chloe. <laughs> That's fine. But you are a good person. You've been through so much. But it's only made you stronger. You don't want to see it. I get that. But it's true. I, who knows? Maybe I wouldn't even have my powers if I hadn't needed them to save you. Thanks, man. When all this is over, when we find Rachel and expose Nathan and everything else, do you want to do more stuff like this together? Yeah, I'd like that. Me too. So, should we make it official? What do you mean? Immortal. Probably get you back to school. Uh, yeah, I need to go to my dorm to grab some things before class. Yeah, I can drop you off there. All right. <laughs> it's okay.
for walking me back to my dorm. Yeah, don't mention it. Had a lot of fun last night. Yeah, me too. I'll catch the bus after class and head over to your place and we can go over the evidence. Yeah, for sure. So you said you found something big before you rewound. What was it? Um, yeah. Yeah, we did. Was it bad? You seem nervous. It, well, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't great. It's Rachel, isn't it? You found something about where she is. Chloe, I... No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. At least, you know, now I'm prepared. A little bit, anyway. Anyway, I'll catch you later. What? Who's that? It's Katie. Something's wrong. Go. near me. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm staying right here. See? See, I'm not moving. You told me I couldn't go to the police. Told me no one would believe me. How is that helping, Max? You don't love me. You don't care about me. You just feel guilty. No, no, of course not. I'm sorry that I said what I said, but I can help you now. We'll go to the police. We'll make Nathan pay for what he did to you. What good will that do? This is all anybody will remember me for. What's the point? You can't change that. Nobody can. We can make people understand. We can make them see that that wasn't you in that video. That you were drugged. It's Nathan Prescott who should be scared. I promise you, within a week, all of this will be better. You can recover. You can heal. I'd love to believe that. I really would. I used to, honestly. I used to believe that if you were a good person, good things would happen to you. But I was wrong, and I understand that now. Sometimes life is just cruel, and you can't change that. Nothing can, except this. Goodbye, Max. Out of you. She was right there, Chloe. I thought I had her. There was nothing you could have done, Max. She'd made her mind up before you even got there. But what's the point of even having these powers if they're useless when I need them? You are more than your powers, Max. You're the only one who was there to help her. I don't think your powers made you do that. What's it matter? She's gone anyway. I swear to God, the next time I see Nathan Prescott, I'm gonna kick his fucking teeth in. Chloe, I need to tell you what we found last night. Do you want? The 
hell do you think you are, huh? I'll have you arrested. Nathan? I want you... I want you to tell me... I can't do it. I'll kill him. Fuck this. What are you waiting for, huh? You wanna fight me too? What did you do to Kate Marsh? I didn't do shit. You drugged her. That is a lie. It's a fucking lie. Just wait till my father hears about this. You're both gonna pay. What about Rachel Amber? What about Rachel Amber? I don't know shit about her either. That's a lie. She probably ran off to Hollywood like she was always fucking talking about. You were obsessed with her. You stalked her for weeks and then she disappeared. I told you, I don't know shit. Now get the fuck out of my room. Is this Nathan? For a conceptual piece, I call In the Dark Room. They're all consenting models. No, they're not. Your hands and feet are bound, and they're drugged. What did you say? I'm sorry. I, I couldn't help myself. Is. I know where this is. This is at the junkyard. Chloe. No, I know she's not dead. Okay, I know. I know, Max. She's not dead. We have to go there. We have to go there right now. Chloe. Chloe, wait up. I know exactly where I'm going. We don't. We had been so sure that Rachel was alive. It seems naive in hindsight, but so many things do, don't they? We went back to Chloe's house. We didn't really know what else to do. Chloe insisted that we shouldn't call the police. Not yet. I'm gonna kill Nathan, Max. For Rachel. For Kate. For anybody else he's ever hurt. Chloe. Don't try and stop me. He's a murderer. And you're not.
Why does everybody in my life abandon me, huh? First dad has his accident. And you bail on me for five years. Mom marries stepfucker. And now Rachel. And then I find out that her and Frank... Your dad and Rachel didn't abandon you, Chloe. And she was gonna go with you. Frank said so. She loved you. Bullshit! Who in my life hasn't tried to fuck me over? Why do I always have to be the miserable one? Nobody wants me. Nobody cares about me. Fuck everybody. Everyone pretends to care. And then they don't. Even you. Chloe Price, you take that back right now. Okay. Okay, fine, I'm sorry. But you don't understand. It's like I'm being punished by the universe. What did I do, huh? What the fuck did I do? Every time I try to be good, I let my guard down and I just get hit again. It's pointless. Chloe, I know you don't want to hear this, but you're still alive here with me. I know this is terrible, but we can get through this together. We can be strong together. You're right, I don't want to hear this. You told me it was going to be okay. Well, that was bullshit. I was wrong, okay? Nothing was okay, nothing is okay, and nothing will be okay. Rachel is dead. Kate is dead. My fucking father is dead. So, what's gonna be okay? Huh, Max? Tell me. You and me together. As long as that's true, it'll be okay. I wish it were that simple, Max. I really do. If I had your powers, I would change everything. Everything. I'm gonna go for a walk. I just need some time alone. It's not you, I promise. I. I just need to think. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. <sighs> you can hang out here if you want. David won't be home for another few hours. He's probably still filling out paperwork from this morning. Be here when you get back. I really am sorry for what I said earlier. I didn't mean it. This day has just been so... No, crazy. it's it's all right. I forgive you. Okay. See you soon. Smile. Max, are you okay? Uh, yeah, I uh, tripped. Max, your nose is bleeding. Oh, uh, it's been happening lately. Mom says it's nothing. Hmm. Okay, as long as you're all right. 
Maybe I should call your parents. No, really, I'm fine. See? <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Oh, shit. I, I, shoot. Um, I'm, I'm late for work. Uh, sorry, girls. I gotta get going. Okay, what was that really? You've never gotten nosebleed before. Um, Chloe, what day is it? Um, May 18th? Why? 2008. Okay, seriously, what's going on? You seemed okay before you took the picture. Chloe! Max! Can you help me find my keys? Ugh, he loses everything. We'll talk about this later. Coming, Dad! Okay, okay. I can fix this. It's going to be better. I could have sworn I put them on the counter. You can never leave them on the counter. Okay, if we're gonna talk about which one of us doesn't put things back to where they're supposed to go. Okay, okay, I get it. I'll keep looking. A warning. You can't do this, Max. You can't save Chloe's father. Of course I can. If he doesn't have his keys, he'll have to take a bus or something, and he won't get in the crash that kills him. I tried that. You what? I tried everything. I hid his keys. I pretended to get sick so he'd have to call my parents. I convinced Chloe to tell him that she was sick so he wouldn't leave. No matter what I did, he was always dead within a week. Always in a car accident. But, but that's not fair. Life isn't always fair. But Chloe doesn't deserve that. Neither does her dad. Why does he have to die? Because that's his fate, Max. You can't stop that. You can't change destiny. You can only delay it. And it'll only hurt a lot of people in the meantime. understand what that means? No, no, I won't accept that. Don't you wonder why that tornado is coming? It's nature trying to correct itself. You can't just alter history and expect nature to do nothing. Well, we'll warn everyone. Everyone can stay safe. It's already started. The moment you go back, it will be there. You know what you have to do to stop it. If you don't, Everyone in Arcadia Bay will die. Everyone. You gave up. There's no way you tried everything. There's no way. I spent three years trying to stop it, Max. I know how you feel. I feel the same way. This is wrong and unfair and cruel. I know all of that. I know I know that you'll be okay 
I know that eventually you'll recover and you'll have a beautiful life, Max. That's what she did for us. That's who she made us. But you can't change fate. How do you know? How do you know it'll be okay? I, I can't imagine. We don't have much time. I'm gonna tell you what you have to do. Are you ready? what's going to happen? That's what needs to happen. How do I get back to my own time? Just focus. It'll be easy. Do I have to go now? There's something, something I need to do first. I know. Take your time, but not too long. The storm is coming. What's going to happen to you? As long as you don't interfere with the past, you will never have made the decisions that led to my being here. So I will never have existed. Thank you for everything. I know, but I'll be back soon enough. <laughs> and maybe tonight we can catch a movie or something. That sounds great. I love you, Dad. I love you too, kiddo. Mm. Hey, Max, see you around. You're in charge while I'm gone. Hey, I'll take good care of Chloe. I believe you. So 
Chloe, no matter what happens, I just want you to know that I'm always going to love you. You're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. I love you too, Max. Did something happen? Not yet. God, you're okay. What are you doing here? She told me where to find you. Why didn't you go home when the storm started? Nathan is dead. Well, we know. I didn't kill him. I wanted to, I think. But when I got there, he overdosed. Just like Rachel. not going to stop, is it? No. I found a photo from when we were kids. It took me back. Back to the day when... Back to what day, Max? The day your father died. Did you see him? Yes. Did you stop him? Did, did you? I tried, Chloe, but there was nothing I could do. I got a warning. And it told me that no matter what I tried, I couldn't stop him. You can't change destiny, right? This is my storm, Chloe. I caused this. I changed fate and destiny so much that now nature's come to fix my mistakes. All I did is cause death and destruction. Fuck that. Fuck all of that. You were given a power, Max. You didn't ask for it. This had to happen, all of this. Except for what happened to Rachel. But without your powers, we couldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. You said a photo took you back, right? I feel like I took this shot a thousand years ago. You could use it. You could go back to when you took that photo. Before any of this happened. And all that would take is for me to... No, 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 fuck that, no! You are my number one priority now. You're all that matters to me. I know. You've proven that time and time again. Even though I don't deserve it. That storm is gonna take out Arcadia Bay. All those people. They deserve to live way more than I do. That's not true. No, I won't trade you. You're not trading me! We both know the truth. 
or just delaying my real destiny. I've been shot twice. I've died twice. How many times can you keep rewinding, Max? How many times can you keep putting it off? Chloe. I think it's time we accept our fate. No, no. Max, you finally came back to me this week and all you did was show me love and kindness. I smiled, I laughed like I haven't in years. Whatever reality I end up in, whatever timeline I follow, these moments were real. And they'll always be ours. Chloe, I'm sorry. I don't want to do this. I know, Max. But you have to. We have to save everybody. And you'll make that fucker pay for what he did to Rachel and Kate. Being with you this week, it's the best farewell gift I could have hoped for. You showed me that there's still beauty in the world. You gave me hope even when everything else was going to shit. You're my hero. I love you, Max Caulfield. Now go. Do it before I freak. And Max, don't forget about me. Never.
I know it sounds crazy, but that's how it happened. Do you... do you believe me? No, of course she doesn't believe you, Max. You sound like a crazy person. graduation party tonight and it's just gonna be something small we're all gonna get together and watch movies and I was just wondering if maybe you'd want to go with me yeah Kate I'd love to I just need a couple hours to finish packing I can help you out if you want that'd be great so how are you doing every day's a little bit better and my therapist says that I'm making progress and you know, I'm starting to believe her. You? I'm... Not so great. I miss her, Kate. I miss her so much. It's like this physical thing that follows me everywhere I go, and I can't escape it. You don't have to run from it, Max. I know that it's scary, and I know it hurts, but part of moving on is it's facing the monster. Every time I try, I find new ways to Kate? deny it. I will try my Can I tell you something? Of course. You. you. I don't want to hide. I don't want to make it right. Anything you lose, and should you really try and find it? When I'm on my way, I'll keep my feet nice and quiet for you. you. I'm really glad you're here. Thanks, Max. I'm really glad you're here, too. Isn't this the messenger bag you used to carry everywhere with you? I was wondering what happened to it. Oh, yeah. Um, I had it with me the day that Chloe. I don't want to run. I don't want to try to fight it. Anyway, every time I try, I haven't really had the strength to go through it yet. I will try my best. I can put it away if you want. You. No, you. no, it's okay. Um. I'm packing things up anyway, so it's a good time to look at it. Okay. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow, those are great. She seems amazing. I'm really glad you got to spend some time with her before, you know. She was. And so am I.
Max, why did you- Because I don't need it. I have her in my mind. And in my heart. You know I'm always here for you, right? Of course, Kate. I'm fine. Okay, so I may have gotten bored while you were asleep and I was packing for our Blackwell heist tonight. And I may have decided to play with your camera, which I get to since technically it's my dad's camera. And I may have taken a picture of you while you were asleep. You just looked hella picturesque and I wanted to capture the moment. Hope you aren't mad when you find this. As if you would be. Sorry. How long was I asleep? Oh, not that long. You ready to go? <laughs> Love always, Chloe. Lips 
Yeah.